Hello, fellow wanderers. I am Endry, and thank you for joining me as we wander through some more Ori in the Blind Forest. So, we've gotten our attack ability here, uh, but obviously, as a Metroidvania, there will be many more abilities to come. Ah, a Guidestone. Spirit Caverns left, Hollow Grove to the northeast, or upper right, as it were. And Blackroot Burrows is apparently where we were. But we want to end up up there. I'm not actually sure which way you're supposed to go from here. Oh, hello, jumpy guy. Those guys really hurt, by the way, and their stomp uh, can make them a little bit hard to dodge sometimes. So, not too bad. Hello, slimy thing. Yes, yes, you're angry because I'm shooting you. Ow. Yeah, I'm going to get hit by those a lot. I have no excuse for it except for the fact that lots of bright, shiny things make it hard to see. Jump up into that thing and we can open it up. And we can blow up more of this stuff. It's all basically free XP. Uh, the game is pretty generous in getting you spirit power, getting you health, getting you XP. Uh, especially the early part, which, you know, it's nice. It's the early part of the game. You're still learning how to play and everything. Oh. Oh. Ori, this is a map stone, one of the many ancient markers created to chart the forest of Nibble as it grew. There's a piece missing. If we could find the map stone fragment, we might be able to repair it. I can't remember how far I go. Right, this was right over here. I can. I think I had to, I think I waited until I got the double jump to come back and get that, because I didn't I think I didn't think I knew I could make that jump. Is that not the map fragment? Oh, what was that? Huh. I was not paying enough attention. Oh, it's a runestone. Right. Now, where is the map fragment? I don't remember. But I think that one eluded me for ages, like I said, till way, way late. Uh, I now seem to have trapped myself. Oh, dear. Well, if all else fails... Press forward. Ow. Yep. I, I mean it. I'm really going to get hit by a lot of those. <laughs> but like I said, uh, lots of health. So this game is gorgeous. I'm going to say that over and over again as I continue to fail at actually being good at it. Ah, another ability point. We've got two of them now. I could go open up a save point and spend them, but I don't feel any great pressing need. Shiny. Probably won't be able to get that until much later. And this looks like a boss arena. Ah. Here we have the little trees. Or his siblings, basically. Light of the Spirit Tree lives in all of us. He is the reason we're alive. He is the reason we grew. So the Spirit Tree is basically like Yggdrasil. It's the Tree of Life. When he called out to find you many years past, we were attacked, wounded, and killed by our foe. Foe. But we'll find out. And years. Many years passed. So Ori was living with uh, Nehru for quite a while. Now these ancestral trees are all that's left behind. Come closer now and feel the light to fill the spirit inside. This is how we get our abilities. I've learned wall jump! Uh, yeah. It's kind of like uh, Mega Man X, if you've played that. Hold against the wall, mash the jump button. Aha! A second energy cell. They give you a lot of these in the game. You don't really ever need that many. Uh, you can use them to charge up your main attack later. We don't have that ability yet. Um, and I suppose it's where you're supposed to use a lot of them. But your main shot gets so powerful and can be fired so fast, I don't really usually see the reason to use it like that. But, you know, to each their own. I never said I was perfect at playing this game, nor optimal. Uh as evidenced by how often I managed to get myself hurt by the most basic of enemies in the game. 
Yes. So now we can wall jump. Ooh, tricky. There's a spike on the wall. Don't want to hit that. And now we're not trapped anymore, because now we can go like this. We have a lot of areas opened up to us. In fact, earlier, where I think we... Like, right down there. Hmm. Could we? Maybe. But, uh... Hello, you. You're annoying. Let's go this way first. And it's, oh, there was that spider thing in the background again. Ah, uh, yes. This area. Oh, hello. I'd rather you not come closer. Thank you, sir. Was there anything hidden back here first? There is. They have stuff hidden everywhere. I'm going to save. And should be able to actually build three. Uh, map markers. Makes most pickups show on the map. Oh, I'd like to do that one. And life pickups will restore twice as much life. I would like to do that one as well. Now, these are going to start requiring two ability points eventually. But, yeah. Uh, we're eventually going to want to get all of these to explore properly and to find all the things. But the moment we get up to where they cost two, I will switch trees. Uh, just to expand our abilities a little bit better. There we go. Head up here. What are you? Ah, I can shoot you. You are an energy refill. So that's basically the game saying, hey, you may want to save here. So we got to push this block up here. And we can stand here because they don't touch the center. And you could do this a lot faster than I'm doing it. Uh, the timing is pretty decent on these. But we'll take it safe because it does not take a lot of hits from these to absolutely ruin your day. We'll set that there. Go here. Should be able to make it. There we go. And let's jump this way. And grab that little thing. And blow up more bad things. And we do have fast travel. We've already seen a fast travel point in the game, so don't worry about going too far in one direction. That lowers that. Well, that will make a jumping puzzle a little bit easier, won't it? Let's see if we can kill that first. Up on the wall. Ah, there's the map stone fragment that I couldn't remember where it was. And that looks unsafe, so let's not, shall we? Go ahead and do that. And we're going to head back to that map stone, then. Because I like maps. Maps are useful. Ow. Getting shot in the face is not useful. Let's pop that in here. Just press X. And this will show us the map. So we now know, basically, the way we have to go, up to that runestone door up there up top. And we could go that way. Hmm, I'm tempted to. But as you can see, several pickups are now lit on the map. Mostly just spirit points. So that's handy to have, uh, but it doesn't show us where a lot of stuff is. And a lot of stuff, even in this early section, we'll not be able to access until much later in the game. Which, of course, is Metroidvania. That's pretty much how these games go, right? And of course, I will be trying to 100% this. It's not hard. I mean, they give you all the map tools, so... Uh, as long as you thoroughly check your map as you go along, you should be fine. Now, we need to open a rune door, and I've got two rune stones. Is that enough? It is. FX twice, open the door. And... Yeah, I'm going to go on with... Pl I'm at least going to meet the spirit tree, because I believe that's the next warp point. Uh, before we head backwards, any. And the game began to get a little bit trickier now. Ah. So as you can see here, we've got an energy refill, just in case you wanted to pop down a save, and it might not be a bad idea, because this area can really hurt. It requires some dexterity, some timing, some things that, as those of you who have watched me know, I am horrible at. Like that. So I died, and... Save point. So yeah, don't be afraid to use your save points. Oops. Let's try to be a little more careful this time. Oh. Ah. You can take a lot of damage in a big hurry there. Eee. Eee. Sometimes being a little more aggressive is the better way to go. Oh, I press down and jump. Yes, you can. Oh boy, I'm dead. <laughs> 
Now, one thing you could do is, I don't have to just save down there. I could move my save point up as I go along. So, there. Now I've saved there. So now remember that I've picked that up. And... Oh, and there I get smacked in the back. Yep. See, I'm just doing horribly at this. Let's grab that. That'll get me some life back. And later on... Ow. Right, if you touch them directly, it hurts. Remember how to play this game a little more. Ah, what's this? Hmm. These energy gates are sealed by the spirits of the past. If we collect enough energy cells... Ah. Well, I have two maximum, so I don't think I'll be opening that. And I'm out of energy anyway. That's alright. We need four to open that regardless. And there's something down there. Something down Hmm. Seems like I should be able to get something down there. What would be blocking our way? Huh. Well, let's head this way. I would at least like to grab this. We'll let us save again. We'll save. And I don't think there's any reason I shouldn't be able to get that. But I'm not certain. I'm not certain how I get in there. Explore a little shit. Is there a way I can get it over here? Not that way. What if I jump? Can I reach the wall? I can't. Alright. So... Hmm. Well, we might not be able to get that one for a little while. See here, uh, if you want to come down, you can drop down there. But just remember that that's there. We'll come back. I think it was actually one of the last pickups I ever got, because I have a lot of reason to come... Ooh! Oop, oop, oop. Almost got blasted there. Uh, Ori is very agile. Uh, jumps and flips, and it's just it's just fun to watch Ori. It's fun to play Ori too. See, just little flips. There we go. No problem. Let's let that one shoot, shall we? Shoot. You. We. Oh, well, we've got another one down there. We're going to need four of them to open this next door, aren't we? Grab it. Thing over here? No. And we could go back down by jumping down there. I don't see any reason to. Oh, don't want to keep away. And there we go. I can have skill occasionally when I want to. Or need to. Or, you know, after the 14 or 15. Huh. Nope. No hurt in that. Her misguided will. Mm-hmm. Ori, the spirit tree, he must have used the last of his strength to save you. Come now and hear our story. It was the night of the light ceremony. It was our light that she hated.
You received the spirit tree's light. He put our fate in your hand. Listen carefully now, for you must understand. The spirit tree sustained the three elements of light, and in turn they brought balance and kept Nibble safe. The element of water is high atop the Ginso tree. The element of wind deep within the forlorn ruins. The element of warmth beneath the fires of Mount Horu. To restore Nibble to its former self, we must rekindle their light before it's too late. The first we will find beyond the spider coves atop the tree where the waters once flowed. Oh, the spider coves. That sounds pleasant. Ah, uh, we're going to a swamp. Let's save our game. We've got a little more time. So we've got our mission. I'll tell you what. Let's warp. Shall we? And we can select our warp point here. So yeah, the her apparently is a giant owl. And it stole sign, and that killed the tree, or at least put the tree to a dormant state. We can go up here now. What is this way? Ori, this statue looks familiar. I've seen it before. Hmm. I remember them, many years ago when the spirit tree was but a sprout. Nehru, the young one, looked after us whenever she could. Oh, Nehru's a sweetheart. This is Nehru's home. Ah, so this is the Blackroot Burrows proper. Can we get up there? Okay. Got it. Yes, there we go. Thank you. Oh, don't go too high, though. Ow. So navigating this area may be difficult at this point. We don't have a lot of mobility. And I died. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, and I didn't save. We'll go through this quickly. I believe I can skip this scene. I might not be able. Ah, just don't look like I can. So I'll save definitely next time we finish this part. But yeah, we've got the the uh, Black Bureau Basin, uh, or whatever it was called. I probably just butchered that name. Can I? This cuts really can't. Okay. Yeah. So Nehru looked after us. So before any further. Save. Enemies aren't too tough in here, but we can't see anything. There's a problem. And to my knowledge, there's not really any way to be able to see in here at any point. Well, not with any special powers from somewhere else. Oh, well, that got us down here, but does it really do us any good? Oh, now this is interesting. Ah, uh, but we can't survive down here. Pity. I'll mess around a little bit more in here. We're about to come to the end of a part anyway, so there's not any particular need to rush on to the next plot here. Yeah. We'll just look around. Is there anything? Play. Ah. Sometimes, by the way, it's better to leave the enemies because they provide some light. Now, there's spikes down there. I can see them. But there's also... Or... Can you give us an area where we can jump? 
Ah. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Doesn't look like it can do anything with it quite yet. Can't jump up there. Ah, we can do stuff here, though. Our wall jump. Which you remember was the only requisite ability. Ah. Sorry, I went through that a little fast. I wasn't expecting that cutscene there. Uh, this was given to Nehru by the spirit tree, and it lights things up. It also makes us slow and shows panels. So we can still attack while carrying it because our little sprite buddy isn't hindered by it. But it greatly diminishes our mobility. That being said, can I sit down? I can. I think that's good for a part, so I'm going to save until our paths cross again. Have fun and be safe, everyone.